Prior to start any work, it is mandatory for the company to conduct a thorough risk assessment and estimate the scope of the job. Workers must be briefed on potential hazards and the corresponding control measures before initiating any tasks. The tower that is being built should have a manufacturer instruction manual and accordingly the tower should be built and the equipment should be provided what the height is required and a careful check of the component schedule is imperative. A comprehensive inspection of the entire equipment is then carried out. Each component is scrutinized for any signs of damage, such as welding issues, bends, hoods, rings, pre-oiling, grease, etc. The functionality of the caster is verified, ensuring that the locking devices are in proper working order. Additionally, the horizontal and diagonal brace hook functions. Decking. And door locks are examined for any defects. If any issues are identified, the equipment is set aside. A damage tag is attached, and the supervisor is promptly informed. The process continues with the insertion of caster adjustable leg assemblies into the base of the two rung ladder frame and two standard rung frames. The braking mechanism is engaged to lock the casters securely. Horizontal braces are then fitted onto the vertical tubes of the frame, aligning directly with the first horizontal tube. The brace hook trigger faces outward, and adjustments are made to the adjustable legs, to ensure proper alignment with the tower base, as confirmed by a spirit level. The second standard frame is joined to ensure that both locks are securely fixed. The second ladder frame is attached, and the clip is locked properly, following the manufacturer's instructions. The first brace hook is ensured to rest, on the opposite side of the horizontal rung. The second brace is fitted to the horizontal tubes with hook apertures facing downwards. The rung frames are located, and a diagonal brace is fitted as per the manufacturer's instructions. Stabilizers are attached to each corner according to the manufacturer's instructions, ensuring correct positioning. The hatch platform is located and fixed on the fourth rung, ensuring that the hatch door opens outward. Using the 3T method, Position yourself in the hatch and install four horizontal guardrail braces on the fifth and sixth rungs on either side of the platform.
Secure the braces and diagonal brace at the opposite end of the tower. The process continues with the next lift of four rung frames, attaching a diagonal brace as per the manufacturer's instructions. The hatch is located and the platform fixed on the eighth rung, ensuring that the locking devices are properly secured. Using the 3T method, four horizontal guardrail braces are installed on the ninth and 10th rungs on both sides of the tower. Access the platform and secure the horizontal guardrails on both sides. Finally, fit the towboard set, ensuring that the edges overlap the platform edges on all four sides.